Good morning and uh, welcome to this week's edition of the week ahead. Another busy week in the State House. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, last week the Elkred Committee uh, divided along party lines on LD 1757. That's the bill that would slow down the rate of increases in Maine's minimum wage. There is a minority ought to pass report that would institute a 12 month cooling off period on the minimum wage increase. Uh, so in 2019, the minimum wage would stay at $10 an hour, and then thereafter would increase 50 cents a year until it reaches the 12 hour mark. Um, it would also institute a training wage for workers under the age of 17. Uh, there was uh, strong support from the small business community uh, for passage of this bill, and I know there's a very active grassroots outreach around this. If you want more information, please feel free to contact me here. Also, the legislature failed uh, to extend the moratorium on the Marijuana Legalization Act. That's the part of the, mar that's the marijuana recre legalized recreational marijuana bill that passed at the ballot box in 2016. The legislature had stayed that law while well, they worked to refine it and correct it. Uh, and unfortunately, the House um, uh, failed to extend the moratorium to April the 18th. The idea was to give the Marijuana Legalization Committee time to have their bill out into the full legislature. Uh, it presents some problems for the business community, most notably around pre-hire employment issues, drug testing, pre-hire drug testing. It negates that uh, if someone tests positive for marijuana. Obviously, that's a workplace safety issue. We're very concerned about that. But we're going to be getting more information out to the business community. Uh, this week, so look for that in, uh, in impact, and we'll also have it up on our website. Linda? In tax, uh, tomorrow there's a public hearing on two bills, uh, 1805, which is the technical changes bill. We're going to be monitoring that. And the other one is 1796, which is a bill that deals with the New Markets Tax Credit, and that bill would end uh, all one-day loans, uh, which was an issue several years ago. It would clarify that. So we're going to be testifying in support of that. Um, and basically on in Elkred, they have the Pine Tree Zone Bill work session tomorrow. Um, and that bill we're going to be monitoring to see what's developed with that. Um, that's a bill we testified in support of and that would extend the Pine Tree Zone program um, by five years. So we support that. There's an amendment that deals with the sales tax reimbursement uh, that we do support. So we're going to be monitoring that tomorrow and that's it for tax. In education this week, they will have a work session on Tuesday afternoon regarding um, K-12 education funding and the higher education bond bills. On Tuesday evening, there is the Governor's State of the State Address. On Wednesday, MEPRI will give their briefing and report on proficiency-based diplomas. On Wednesday afternoon, there will be work sessions on a couple of the workforce development bills that we've been following, as well as the bill that I testified on last week that would delay proficiency-based diplomas. And on Thursday, I'll be in HHS, different committee for me, testifying on LD 1774. There's a component of the bill that we've been asked to testify on that would encourage adults back into the workforce. That's it for this week. There's obviously a lot going on. The legislature's idea is to try and have their work done by really the end of this month, the first week in March at the latest so they can get out of here as early as they can. Some committees are actually finishing their work, or close to finishing Tax it. has a lot. <laughs> yeah, HHS has a lot, Elgrin has a lot, but there are other committees that don't. So we'll just see how things transpire in the coming weeks. So thanks for joining us, and we we'll look forward to talking with you again next week.